Hey YouTube, this is H Hank's Gear. This is my first product review. This is the Bose Soundlink Revolve. I've been seeing this on the internet for a while. I've been in market for a portable Bluetooth speaker for for a while. And the ones I've seen were pretty big and a lack base. So, you know, I thought I'd give this one a try. So this is brand new sealed unboxing. So I know Bose historically has been pretty bad with pricing. This is this is about one ninety nine before tax. Nice weight to it, nice packaging. So it has a pretty good weight to it. Probably about a pound, you probably look up at specs. This is the size comparison, this is the Google uh, Pixel XL. So you can see, height wise, it's definitely a good weight. As you can see here, you can screw it, screw it onto a tripod. This has the cradle charging they mentioned online. And then you have your micro USB port right there. As well as the aux, no that's the power cable right there. So if you're, re if you're watching this video, you probably know all about these specs right here already. I mean the purpose of this video is simply for hands-on, uh, up-close look at um, at this unit here. So I am not paid to do this. I bought this with my own own dollars. All the reviews I've seen so far has been sponsored by Bose or been given free by the by the Bose themselves. So I wanted to see this for myself. So build quality, as expected from Bose, is pretty good. You know, the only thing I could gripe with is that there's the, the lip right here. It feels like it could catch onto something. But here we go. This is the, the first unboxing of it. Again, pretty good weight. Again, here's the size of the pixel. You can judge yourself. I'm primarily going to take this for traveling purposes. That's why I didn't go with the bigger model. You know, I, I definitely wanted a unit that could pack a punch. You know, I know uh, there's plenty of other uh, units out there are probably um, a lot cheaper and could sound similar. But at the for the use I like to use it for, I mean, I don't really care about the pricing for this. I just really wanted the best I could get in the smallest uh, form factor. So form factor to me was uh, more important than anything else when it came to uh, Deciding to purchase this unit right here. So I'll give it a whirl, get it charged, and see how it goes. Sorry. Here's a USB charger, provided cable. How it goes. Hmm. Clearance is this is very tight. Can you see that little gap right there? It's kind of annoying. No other cables provided. So I guess that is the auxiliary port right there.
Does it come charge out of the box? No, it's not. But yeah. No Karen cable, nothing else. The Bose Soundlink Revolve. So this is a glimpse of it of how it looks as it's charging. It has, it'll have a blinking yellow light here, the pair button. So right when you boot it on, don't be too confused. Just power it up. It'll ask you to hit the multifunction button. You hit it, you hit it and hold it, and it'll set it to English. And as soon as that they say that. It'll start uh, asking you to pair. So it was really quite easy to pair. So I just did a quick sound test on this uh, Bose speakers. I mean, like all Bose speakers, right? The, the, the bass is not earth shattering, but for its size, it's pretty loud. I was actually quite surprised. Um, for the speakers, I, I had it just about a uh, half, and it was pretty loud. As you can see here, I'm gonna test some EDM music. Audio about three fours. Mixed us with some Tron. Sound is really 360. Can, it, it can fill up the room. I'm in my living room right now, and it's actually doing a pretty good job in filling up the noise in the room. Um, some things I forgot to mention is that on the on the top side you have this nice rubber texture, which would uh, pretty pretty much protect it from some basic scuffs. On the bottom you have um, it feels like um, some brushed aluminum, and on the bottom here you have back in uh, some um, brushed rubber as well. You could get the accessory here to get it on that stand where you could charge it, um, but um, frankly, I'm going to have this on the go, so I'm not really going to have it or really use it that much at home. It's really usually on the on the road that I'm going to take this, so I'm going to probably put this in my check-in bag, and wherever I go, I'll use it. So, so far, I mean, it's pretty good. For the size and the dollar, yeah, it's pretty expensive. It's about $220 after tax. And I'm, for, I'm pretty sure anyone looking, this is, is probably looking at all the other competition, which is usually at the 100, 100 to 120 range for something similar like the UA Boom, which I tried at the Best Buy store. But, you know, if you have the extra cash, I mean, this is pretty much, um, you know, the best in terms of the form factor. Yeah, you could save a buck or two and get a similar competition. You know, if, if you got a tight on cash, yeah, I probably recommend something else. But if you want the best for the form, you know, you're really hitting like, you know, you're paying 50, pretty much $50 more, $60 more just so you get the, the slimmest, you know, most commercial looking product you have out there. So would I recommend it for the traveler that doesn't, that doesn't really care, that just wants the best looking thing? Yeah, I recommend it. But for everyone else, you know, you can always do better elsewhere, much like every other boat product. But, you know, so far, I'm liking it so far. This is, my, this is my review of the Soundlink Revolve. Let me know if you guys have any questions.